Okay, everyone, I just had to jump back on and redo this topper because I went and I watched the video and I just said, no, I, ca I can't leave it like that. I've got to do justice to this topper. So I've gone in and I've washed the glue out of the top of my hair and it's all out. And I just push it back, push my hair back. And then I'm going to, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I think I'll take and pull it back with, with a barrette for now. Right. And then once I get the topper on, then I'll take that barrette out. Okay. So... I am going to put a small, if I don't put it stays on, then it's just going to slide back because there's nothing in this wig, as I was saying to you before, there's nothing in this, there's no clip there to hold it. There is a little piece of silicone I, I failed to mention before, see that, which if you have no hair at all, it's going to help, help it to stick to your scalp, but that's not really going to help me. So. We'll just leave it there for the moment and I'll put some it stays on my hand, get it going. And as I said before, I put, I put way too much on, so less is more, as they say. So here we go. I'm just going to put it right there at the widow's peak, just this one spot, right? across the top and I think let's see just so I could see how far I don't want to go up in here where the combs are that was the problem I had before so I'll stop it right pretty much I have it and here so it feels tacky. Put the top back on. Let it dry for just a minute. I'm going to take a little bit of alcohol. Wash that off. I had everything all put away in my little recording room here. But I sat down and I watched the and I watched the replay. I don't always watch the replay, but this time I did because I was having such a hard time with that with with the topper. My fault because I put too much glue on it. You see, it takes a while. It really does take a while. It's it's there. It's a learning process, right? So, um, so I've got everything pretty much pulled back here. See, if it wasn't just for that that thinning in the front of my hair I probably wouldn't even need any any topper I mean maybe I'd do it anyway just for fullness but I don't really mind the way the rest of my hair looks and there's another only one other thing that I wanted to do too I did not again looking at the video I did not blend my eyeshadow really well there and I should have done that um, I've put everything away but what I would do just is make sure you blend really, really, really well. But I have to say, I love, I really, really love that uh, Urban Decay primer because the eyeshadow is staying, the eyeliner is staying. Um, I really love it. So kudos to whoever recommended that. I think it might have been... Uh, I think it might have been Nicole Johnson who recommended that. So, well, I'm just waiting for that. It stays to dry a little bit more. Go into the outer corner of your eye. Make sure you clean up anything there. Clean up anything. Every, you know, if you're out every once in a, in a couple of hours, I always travel with two with uh, Q-tips. Go up under your eye. Make sure that there's nothing going on under there. Right? And the other thing that I neglected to tell you was... Um, 
I'm going to take a different mascara now. It's still, it's an Avon True Color. I do buy expensive mascaras, but I also buy less expensive. Uh, once I get the thin one done, when I, when I use the Maybelline with the thin wand, then I'm going to go back in at the end, add, end, and I'm going to do just those outer lashes, not the inner lashes, just those outer lashes and beef them up just a little bit more. And here's where a lot of ladies, if they're looking for a, a more glam look or maybe they have a special night, they'll take a wing eyeliner, not eyeliner, a wing um, false eyelash, and they'll just put it on the end. And what that does is that takes care of um, that takes care of, I'm looking for my brush, I just put it away. That takes care of anything that, you know, this look right here, this little line, but the thicker you can make that, the edge of that mascara, the less you're gonna notice this little line right here, if that makes sense. But that mascara has pretty well dried there. I should have done another coat toward the end of that. And if you, if you don't have a different one, just use whatever mascara you have. But the blacker it is, the, obviously, the more definition. You're gonna get. Okay. So I think the It Stays is ready. I'm just gonna spray it just a little with little bit with water. Okay, let's see, let's see what happens. Again, the, my problem area is right there, my widow peak, widow's peak. So slide her right up your forehead. Make sure you're looking at your combs. So that they're supposed, to, they're where they're supposed to be, and go. I'm coming right up to my widow's peak, just a maybe an eighth of an inch above it. Otherwise, it's going to look weird. And now I'm just taking my fingers and putting them underneath the hairline as much as I can, and pressing, pressing pressing that lace front down and hoping it stays just like the name says it's kind of scratching at the uh at the root I'm going after my hair putting it up into the clip And then I'll go after the other clip, pull it down and push it up, snap it. All right, so they're in. So it feels like the, it stays. Press, 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 press. Press, press. Sometimes I just want to shave my widow's peak, but that would not be good. <laughs> press, press, press. Press. I don't know. Some people use a, a blow dryer there. I've never done that, but I suppose it would be good for while you're filming. Okay, I think it's pretty much dry. So now I'm gonna go and look for the back clips. Pulling them down. I'm just looking for the back clip. Pulling it down, hold up top so it doesn't fall back. And then push up and then snap. Let's get this hair out of here. Uh, 
All right. Now the question is where we want that part to go, right? But it's pretty much not moving. I could have even put it a little bit further down here, right? I could have. And the question is, where is that parting going to look the best? Now I notice there's a little bit of a knot here because they have the combs, but that's the edge of the comb. So we wanna be careful of that. So I think, If I wore it on this side, I mean, you really even could could wear it in the middle, couldn't you? If you didn't have such a, if you didn't have the widow's peak, but I do. So I think I'm going to have to bring this over. Now, see, that's already much better because it's not sitting in glue, right? I'm probably going to have to wash this topper because of the glue, because of what I did to it. Even though I don't really feel any glue in it, um, it's still it's still a synthetic, so you can bet that something is sticking to those fibers. But already this looks a thousand percent better, right? Yeah, I can definitely feel there's a little bit. It doesn't. It's not as silky as it was before, but it's a lot better, isn't it? And uh, what I could do if I wanted to create an optical illusion, of course is I could take some some powder, excuse me, what I could do to create an optical illusion is I could just take some powder, well, let's see what's the best powder I have to do this with. Uh, Probably the sheer cover, as you see. Now, I really could have even pulled that down a little bit more, couldn't I? But it's already dried, so I'm not going to mess with it. So, you know, note to self. But just take yourself some powder. I've got like a little bit of black hair left, and of course, where is it? Right smack in the middle of my widow's peak. Unbelievable. God has a sense of humor. All right, so I'm just going to pop that right on there just to give a little bit of optical illusion. Right? Put a little bit more. I could even use white powder there. I've got white powder. Okay. So, blend that in a little bit. All right. So... And then, you know, however you want to style it. But that's a lot better, isn't it? That's so much better. And you can see this video, I mean, it normally doesn't even take that long to throw a topper on. It really doesn't. Looks much better, right? And, and the more you wear a topper, you know, the more familiar you get with the topper and you kind of know where to go, where to place it and, and uh, you know, all that stuff. But she does have some nice layering. So there you have it. Raquel Welch, top billing in the color 5660. order this topper. I think you will I think you will love her. <laughs> Thanks so much for your patience. If you like, give it a like, click the little bell icon so that you know every time I either go live or I upload another video. And thanks so much for watching.